Okay, we're going to pick up with where we left off in class today with the Children's March. In spring of 1963, a crusade was organized called the Children's March. Beginning in May, more than 1,000 African American children began marching in Birmingham and Bull Connor had most of them arrested. A second group met the next day and began to march and police dogs were sent in to attack the protesters. Many marchers were swept off their feet with high pressure fire hoses and many were clubbed to the ground. TV's cameras captured all of this and millions of viewers heard many children screaming. Continued protests and economic boycotts and especially negative media coverage eventually would convince Birmingham officials to end segregation. So all of this is going to help convince the city of Birmingham to end segregation. But it's not over yet. And so we're going to pick up now with the Freedom Rides. So a little background. Um, in 1960, the Supreme Court expanded its earlier ban on segregation on interstate buses. Okay, that was buses that were traveling from state to state, like Greyhounds and such. So it expanded its earlier ban on segregation on interstate buses. So now those buses traveling from state to state would have to be desegregated. As a result of this, the SNCC and CORE organized the Freedom Rides. And the Freedom Rides were designed as a tactic to test whether southern states would obey the Supreme Court ruling and allow African Americans to exercise their newly granted rights. So they basically want to test out the bus ride and see if they'll be allowed to ride an integrated bus legally, as they should be. So the first Freedom Ride is going to happen. We have 13 riders, both black and white, boarding interstate buses heading towards the south. Now, it's two buses, and they are going to encounter major problems when they enter Alabama. It's a town called Anniston, Alabama, where a heavily armed white mob met the first bus at the terminal. They slashed the bus's tires. The bus flees, but the tires blow out on the outskirts of the city, so it had to pull over. And then a mob threw a firebomb into the bus. Riders managed to escape the bus before it burst into flames, as pictured on the screen, but they were then just beaten by the mob. So it's pretty horrific things that are happening. So, a reaction to these Freedom Rides?
The photographs of the smoking bus really horrified the nation. But then violence only intensified in Birmingham and Montgomery. The Freedom Riders would now be arrested upon their arrival of, of these two cities. So the first Freedom Ride didn't even make it past Jackson, Mississippi. At this time, Attorney General um, Robert Kennedy sent federal marshals to protect future Freedom Riders. And just so you know, we're saying freedom riders, as in you're riding the bus, not writing a paper. Not like the movie with Hillary Swank. Okay, the political response to the freedom rides, Kennedy proposed a civil rights bill that would prohibit segregation in public places. Um, it would also kind of further advance school desegregation. But... Powerful Southern segre segregationists kept the bill from coming up for a vote on the floor. All right, and then the March on Washington. In 1963, a march was organized in order to focus national attention on Kennedy's civil rights bill. Organized to focus national attention on Kennedy's civil rights bill. The march was organized by A. Philip Randolph. As far as participants, obviously Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. participated, but also famous celebrities such as Sammy Davis Jr. and Jackie Robinson. The march was very peaceful and very orderly. And after many songs and speeches, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered what has become his best known address, his I Have a Dream speech. As far as the political response to this march, Kennedy pushed for the Civil Rights Act even further but it would not be passed until after he was assassinated and his vice president, now acting president, Johnson, would push for it. And those are our notes, okay, for today. So, um, we'll stop today and continue the rest of it and finish up the chapter tomorrow.